What's up, Welly Squad, and welcome back to the vlog where every single day we post a brand new video. If you guys are new here, go ahead and drop a like in this video. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on all notifications. Guys, I don't know if my videos are spreading or not, but I'm definitely trying to up my content to you know, better stuff, so more people will like the video and things like that, but just do me a favor, drop a like in this, and get me 50 subscribers by the end of July, we're at 48, and we're going to try to get to 50 and drop 20 likes on this video. Guys, let's get into the reaction. First of all, before we go any farther, I want to say how powerful I think this song is. Even the music itself is very powerful, so if you guys like this song and know this song, put it in the comments. If you are fans of Five Finger Death Punch, put in the comments, hashtag 5FDP. Let me know, because I'm a big fan. I want to know how many of you are big fans. I've decided not to do a raw edited version of the song i've got to watch the video see how the powerful the video is i have watched the video before but i haven't paid close attention but i hear it's like really heartwarming and powerful so i'm gonna go ahead and try the normal video and i will do some editing of myself and you know screw these copyright claims because they're just pissing me off and they're pissing other people off and I don't understand so I will do a little editing on it but I'm gonna do the normal video alright here we go guys The ones who love you the most are the one. Oh. Are the ones willing to fight for you. In some occasions, that's true. In some occasions, it's not. The ones who love me, I have some who love me, like the ones sitting next to me. But the ones. Oh, she's waving. Do it again. Everybody, welcome back, Kendra from Rockfest. If you guys went to Rockfest, hope you had fun. Saw your favorite bands. I'm still jealous, but I'm definitely going next year, guys. And if you want VIP for next year, I suggest you go ahead and get on to buying your tickets because they're going to go fast. But anyway, the what, what that said, the ones who love you the most are the ones who fight for you and your life. In some occasions, it's true. and some occasions, it's not. Like... Most of my family has not fought for me, and, you know, they just don't care. But, uh, the soldiers, I thank you a lot. Thank you for your service, and I couldn't be more happier and prouder and thankful for you guys. So, I'm going to move on. Over 1.4 million veterans are at risk of becoming homeless. Just because you're a veteran doesn't mean you have to be homeless. I don't recommend anyone being homeless, but it's pretty sad that there's that many veterans homeless. Stop giving the homes to people who doesn't deserve them and start giving homes to people like the veterans and, you know, people who are actually in need of stuff. So, it's not fair and, you know, it's just not okay. But, moving on.
I don't understand is why they're saying, I spoke to God today, and she, God's not a she, that's the only thing I don't understand. Yeah, I just had to throw that out there. God is a she, but the devil is a he. If 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 you guys are believers, um, the devil does bad things, and I would know that because I'm currently binging Lucifer on Netflix. If you guys like that show, put it in the comments. Let me know. It's a really good show, but the devil does bad things, and all he wants to do is drag you down. So listen to God, keep your head up, and keep on moving, be strong. side of heaven, the righteous side of hell. I don't understand that. I mean, I, I have a feeling it means something, but I don't understand what it, exactly it means. But, anyway, moving on. He said, I heard from God today, and she sounded just like me. That's pretty powerful. Like I said, this whole song is powerful, so... I mean, God works wonders. And if you're a believer, then I'm totally on your side. If you're not a believer, then go ahead and, you know... Don't even watch videos like this because this song means something and it means a lot and you know I just love this song so like I said really powerful I'm gonna go back a minute did you guys see what that said Two percent divorce rate for military couples because people's husbands and brothers and fathers and cousins they're all going to fight for the country so that's that's a huge number 42 percent of military couples get divorced because their husband is fighting for the country and basically never have time to see their family I don't understand why it would lead to divorce. You know, I would stick right by my partner's side. If she ever went to the military, I would be heartbroken. But at the same time, thankful because she's fighting for my country. Same with me. If I went, I'm sure she would be glad too. You know, she'd be heartbroken. But I'd be fighting for her country to keep her alive and everyone else that she loves and she don't know alive. So... That's a huge number, like I'm saying, 42% of military couples. It's not as big as regular couples, like, getting divorced, but that 42% is still a huge number, and that's a lot of divorces just for military couples alone. So, I thought I would uh, reflect on that a little bit. Moving on.
An estimated 460,000 veterans suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. That right there, 460,000 veterans from post-traumatic stress disorder. These guys go through a lot and, you know, lose their lives. Innocent people losing their lives to save our country. And there's a lot of people out there who couldn't give a damn that they went over. If they didn't go over, you wouldn't be alive. That's the way it is. So I'm thankful, and there's other people who's not thankful. So I thank you if you're thankful for the veterans and people serving our country and, you know. Really powerful. Was that just the lead singer of Five Finger Death Punch that got shot? Why are you watching this? A veteran is roam, roaming the streets helpless. I see people all the time, people with gold watches, brand new shoes, dogs out on the road asking for money with signs that says hungry. It, look, you made the wrong decisions while you had a place to live, while you had a family, while you had a life, a job, whatever, and now you're out begging for our money. There's veterans out there who are homeless who need the money a hell of a lot more than you do. I suggest you guys grow up, get a job, get a life. Because, you know, and nothing against homeless people at all because I've been there, honestly. I'm 21 years old and I've still been homeless. I was homeless at 17 years old. That's really heartbreaking because I shouldn't be out on the streets at that young with a white trash bag with a few outfits thrown over my shoulder. So I, I feel this. I feel what they're saying about the veterans and stuff. Because I've been there. I know what it's like. And there's veterans who fought for the country who cannot get a place to live because they're all given away. They're all being rented to people who don't need them and don't deserve them. So I thought I would throw that out there. That was a strong message. So I thought I'd throw that out there and let you guys know what I think. His sacrifice went unappreciated. That's the thing. I don't think many people appreciate the sacrifice of a veteran. These are normal people who were living their normal lives who got drafted into the military to go fight for your country. And you guys still don't appreciate. I don't understand. I don't understand how people think these days. But every time I watch this video, like, it hasn't been very much. But I get pretty fired up because the message is so strong. And it gets me, so... <sighs> yeah.
know what just happened because I can't hear what they're saying, but I don't know if this guy was being mean to the homeless guy or if he was helping, but he must have said something pretty pretty meaningful or pretty hurtful to the guy because he started crying. And in the scene before this, not a, it was probably a veteran who was getting arrested, but the cop saw the same tattoo on his arm. Maybe they were family members or something. Or in the same branch for the military. And I appreciate the cop because he unhandcuffed the guy. So that was pretty awesome. Right before this line, it caught my eye where it said, While you're watching this video, a veteran took his own life because he was homeless. His life wasn't taken while he was fighting for the country, but it was taken by himself because he's homeless and doesn't deserve to be. So that's the end of the song. I'm not going to go any farther on the song. But if you ask me, it's a pretty powerful song. You know, any input for you? Nothing. But let me know what you guys think of the song and the video. I am almost in tears right now because it's pretty strong and the message is clear. Um, I appreciate Five Finger Death Punch noticing, you know, the veterans and the firemen and the policemen and everybody like that. Thank you for your service. Thanks for being awesome and fighting for my country. I do and I always will appreciate it. So... I would do it myself. So, I'm going to end this here. But if you guys have any suggestions on videos and you want to see more reaction videos like this, drop it in the comments. If you're new here, subscribe. Hit the notification bell to all notifications so you're not miss a video. I post every single day. And i got some great videos coming up. Drop a like on this video. Give me 20 likes. I'm going to... Ended here, and Welly Squad, until next time, see you tomorrow.